All right, guys, so in this video, let's figure out how we can convert all of our shapefile or all of our GPX files that we got from Strava into um, a more friendly format for ArcGIS. So we're going to convert them all to shapefiles. Um, so if we just, I'm going to minimize this and open up uh, PyCharm. The first thing we're going to have to do is in Python, we're going to have to figure out how we can loop through a directory and print all of these files. So let's try that. Um, so actually I made a new project. So I just went to file new project and I made a new project inside of um, my directory here where all my uh, Strava data is. You don't have to do it in here, but I just happened to. Um, so I'm going to make a new Python file and call it um, GPX to shape. And I'm going to I was trying to minimize that because it's kind of ugly to look at, but uh, never mind. <laughs> Let's. Show, I know we're going to need OS, so I'm going to import OS. We're going to need ArcPy, so import ArcPy. Um, so first, let's figure out how we can loop through a directory. So I'm going to actually copy this activities path as text and just say um, GPX files. All right, so that's the directory of our GPX files. So let's just um, print os.lister and we're going to list the GPX files. Um, so let's just see what that does. So that should um, loop through everything. Okay, so we, we have a big list here of GPX files and it's, it's just the file name, right? So it's just this. Um, but the problem is if we actually let's loop through this. So instead of printing this, I'm going to say GPX, I'm going to make this a list and say GPX list equals OS dot lister. So now this GPX list variable, that's what we just printed out here. So it's a list and we're going to be able to loop through that. So we can say for GPX, file in gpx list print um, gpx file so let's see what this does all right cool so it's looping through uh, and it's printing the file name um, I don't like this this file here so I'm gonna put an if in here and I'm just gonna say if um, gpx file dot ends with and if it ends with dot gpx, then I want you to print that. So it's just gonna ignore that any other files because we're only interested in these gpx. Files. I don't know what that other one was, um, but yeah, like I was saying, this is just the file name. Now we need it to. We want the full path. So what we need to do is we need to add this. Every time it loops, we need to add that basically to this, right? Because that is the full path, right? So if it's export activities, and then the file name. So what we're going to need to do is just um, append, or not append, we're going to have to join these two files. So we can say um, full GPX path equals uh, os.path.join and we're going to join gpx files um, with gpx file and that the the variable names here i chose i choose i i chose were a little bit uh not very clear but gpx files let's just call that gpx directory that makes more sense. GPX directory. GPX directory. Let's call it GPX directory path. That makes more sense. GPX directory path. Okay, so instead of printing GPX file, let's print 
full GPX path. So this should be the full path to every file, which is exactly what we want. So that looks good. So now this, um, now we're ready to actually use ArcPy. So let's Google how we can use um, ArcPy GPX to feature class. GPX to features. All right, let's take a look here. Okay, perfect. This is pretty simple here. So I'm just gonna grab this and that's what we're gonna do. But ArcPy, so it's it's saying what what is the GPX file you want? So that's gonna be our full GPX path. And then our output file, so this is like where you want this new shape file to go. Um, that's going to be, um, so that's going to be, let's, let's print some, before we get into the arc pile, we're going to have to figure out how we're going to name our shape file. So let's just print, um, full GPX path dot, um, split, split EXT, I think split EXT. Or let me get this syntax. We basically are or Python split extension or Python uh, remove extension. So this is what we want. OS dot path dot split extension. All right. So let's say print split extension. full GPX path. Get rid of that. Let's try this. So this should be a list where um, the first item is everything like the file name minus the extension. So we want to basically use this and then instead of having GPX, we want to add .shp. So let's say um, shape file or let's just say output file. Output shape file equals os dot path dot split extension full GPX path. And if we say zero here, that's talking about just this item. And then we want to um, basically just add dot shp. So let's make sure this works. Print output shape file. Let's just see if this is what we're expecting. Cool, so we have, for each item we have a GPX and we have a shape file. So now uh, we should be able to use ArcPy. Because we have everything we need. We have the full GPX, now we have the full um, shape file. So output shape file. I'm going to say print um, converting um, to shape file. And then in here, I'm going to add the full GPX path. And then let's just say when it finishes, we'll say finish converting to shape file. All right, and then outside of the loop, we can just say print finished converting all GPX to shape, something like that. All right, so let's run this and give it a shot. So we have a bunch of GPX files here. If we run with any luck, this will work. Okay, so we're getting a bunch of files here. You know how shape files have a ton of like sidecar files. So that's why there's not just SHP, there's all these other ones. 
Um, but it looks like it's working, so that is good. Um, in Pro, I'm going to just browse to that directory. Uh, where was that? It was my downloads. Uh, downloads. Okay. So we should have a bunch of shapes. See, it doesn't even display the GPX in here. Um, but it has all the shape files. And we have an error here. Must be something with the name. Hmm, I'm actually not sure what's going on here. Let's just make sure this works. The shape files work. Okay, cool. So that's working. Uh, let me try to figure out what's going on with this thing here. All right, guys. So I think I figured out what's going on. I, I tried to just, I narrowed it down to one particular GPX file here that, that made a crash. So I tried just bringing it into pro and we're seeing some information about UTF eight codec can't convert, can't, can't decode byte, uh, whatever. So I looked at that file and in the file, I, I noticed there's this emoji character, this thumbs up, and I'm betting that that's probably, uh, the problem. Um, so let's just add a try statement here to basically, um, so, so it doesn't just kill our program here. So let's just say, try, try that and accept exception as E and I'm just going to say print, uh, failed to convert. And this isn't best practice. You should always try to catch a, a particular type of exception, but I'm just, um, I'm not doing that. So let's just say print E. So that should print the, the exception and, and just keep going. So let's try this again. I know this video is getting a little long, but I want to just make it one video. Um, so I'm going to go to the directory where I had all this stuff converted and um, okay, good. So we don't have any, sh oh no, that's the wrong file. We want this one. I'm just going to get rid of everything that got created. Um, all this stuff. So we're just going to keep the original data. So shift, shift, delete, and let's try this again. And I, I just added a slash N here. So it prints it out a little nicer. Uh, so let's run that. So far, so good. The one that fails, we should see something get printed out. Okay. So there we got the, the trace back printed out. Um, but it, it kept going. It's not crashing. So that's what we wanted. Um, failed to convert. So yeah, that's what we told it to print. Failed to convert. Good. So that's what we wanted. Uh, I'm not really sure how, how to get around that emoji issue, uh, but I'm not going to dive into it. <laughs> okay. So there we go. Finish converting all GPX to shape. And now if we go into pro and just refresh this directory, we have a bunch of uh, shape files here. So we just drag them in and take a look. So you can see I run in different spots. Cool. Uh, yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.